Since the pandemic, Langkawi has been overlooked for many tourists and has seen a large drop in visitors. Today, let's see what this tropical Malaysian island has to offer. Good morning from Langkawi. We are on this paradise island in Malaysia and we're heading on a boat tour straight away this morning. It looks incredible out there. It almost looks like the Philippines or something. I'm so excited. Yeah, it looks like misty and very mountainous. So let's get on the boat. Let's start this beautiful day. So we've just arrived at Danyang Bunting Island and this place is supposed to have a freshwater lake in the centre so we're going to go see this place. Thank you. Thank you. So the entrance fee to come in here was six ringgit each for a, like a foreign citizen. Um, we've got this little wristband and we're just walking through the jungle now to this freshwater lake. So this is pretty exciting. Crazy it's fresh water as well. Yeah, it reminds me of like the Philippines or something at the moment. Yeah. It feels really cool. It's but super jungly. Look guys, we've just seen a scorpion. We don't want to get too close to him. That is crazy. I don't like scorpions, not near my toes. <laughs> yeah, we've got closed shoes on. <laughs> if you see a scorpion, you know you're in the jungle. Everything's like slightly damp and wet here, but I don't even think it's rain. I think it's just like the moisture. Yeah, and it's the so atmosphere. so humid. The atmosphere. Whereas on the main island, nothing. It's like dry. We've arrived at the lake and it feels exactly like Khao Sok. It's actually incredible. I was just not expecting this in Langkawi. It's so green. It's so cool, <laughs> isn't it? I need to go for a swim though. Same. I'm like really, really sweaty. It's so humid. You going in? I think so. Should I go? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's so hard to like keep afloat in here compared to the sea because there's obviously no salt so I feel like I'm just drowning. drowning. When we first arrived there was like hardly anyone here because we were one of the first boats to the lake but now it is so busy you can hardly like sit still because there's just people walking on top of you, walking over you. It is like the end of Ramadan so it is a holiday here in Malaysia and it's a weekend so that probably doesn't help but it is super busy. So we've just spent an hour and a half at this lake which is such a nice length of time because we don't feel like we're rushed but now we're heading back to the boat and I have no idea where we're heading next but hopefully it'll be somewhere cool. The next spot we headed to was an eagle feeding spot and there was hundreds of this reddish brown eagles and they were swooping down catching fish out of the sea but they were feeding the eagles. We stayed on the boat and headed to the next location. This beach is so nice but we kind of feel like we're back in the UK because this just looks like Brighton. If you don't know Brighton it's known for these colourful little huts on the beach so <laughs> kind of feel like we're at home. This is such a lovely beach. We've walked down because there's lots, lots of crowds over there but over here it's just us. I never understand people like they're all crowded in the same spot but you come over to this side of the beach and it's just us. It's yeah. like why not just spread out? This beach and island is honestly absolute paradise, but unfortunately we've got to leave now after an hour here and we're gonna head to somewhere very special this afternoon. Um, I'm not gonna tell you yet, but um, it's gonna be very different to like this area. Let's head back to Langkawi Island now. We are back on the jetty on Langkawi Island now and highly recommend that tour. It was so good. We booked it online on uh, Kluk, so I'll leave a link to that um, down in the description. And it was only £7.30, I think, each, which is an incredible deal for like a four or five hour boat tour. So yeah, go check it out. So breezy! Woo! You got it? Yeah, let's go. So we have just arrived and we're going to a waterfall. I have no idea about this place, but it's supposed to be really cool and it's got something which looks really fun. And we're gonna show you very shortly. Hopefully it's not too far. What? Oh, I'm blowing already, aren't you? Yeah, oh. I'm exhausted. 
we are properly in the jungle now. You can hear that those sounds. I think they're called sakuras. You get them a lot around Southeast Asia in all the rainforests and stuff. But yeah, this is turning into a bit of a hike. I think we've been going like maybe 10 minutes. Whoa, look up there. That is the cable car. So we're going to be going up there tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow morning, aren't we? Whoa, that's pretty high. How yeah. high is it? I don't know, but that's where we're going tomorrow. Caution, slippery, beware. Any accidents, so your own fault. Here we go, let's go have a look at this place. <laughs> Woo! Wow, look at that. Literally in the middle of the jungle. So apparently here you can actually slide down the waterfall. Obviously not the main bit up here, which is just a bit mental, but down these little bits. These bits aren't too steep and it's supposed to be like smooth rock, so you're not gonna hurt yourself. So let's give this a go. I'll be honest guys, because it's dry season, it's probably like not as crazy as it would be in wet season, but at least you can control your speed and you know, you're not gonna hurt yourself. So there you go. So guys, obviously you only saw me going a couple times and I wanna know, that's a leech, isn't it? I Is think, I think that's a leech. So we're not gonna go in anymore because we don't wanna be eaten alive by leeches. It's either a leech or like a little worm, but I don't think we want to get mixed up with these. Yeah. I don't know what they are, but... I'm definitely not going in now. <laughs> Maybe it's just because of dry season, I'm not sure, because now the water's not flowing that fast, but... Yeah. yeah. Just be aware. Can you see that moving? I don't know what it is. It's a little worm. Someone tell me what this is. But I don't want him on me. I don't think we're going to be going in the water anymore after those little leeches or whatever they were and we're just going to chill out and enjoy this waterfall. And try and get the leeches off Joel. Yeah, I've had a shower in the toilets. The <laughs> toilet's just here as well. Oh, just hang on. Joel has got something stuck in his foot. But it's coming out. I don't Better know. not be one of those worms. We're gonna have to get it out back at the place, but it's gonna be all good. It's very small, not too bad. This waterfall is pretty cool. Imagine what it's like in wet season. It must be like super powerful. We need to go back, get this thing out my foot. Um, and yeah, we're gonna chill out. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna go to the cable car because it's gonna be pretty awesome. The most popular thing to do here on Langkawi Island. What is that? What is that? Sounds like a pig in the sky. It must be some kind of mating call. <laughs> some bird. That's odd. That's weird. We also didn't mention that but this waterfall is free entry. You only have to pay for parking if you have a car and it's like to ring it. So very, very cheap and free place to come here in Langkawi. We're on our way to do one of the most popular things to do here on Langkawi Island. It's about a 25 minute drive from Sinang, the main town here in Langkawi. Hey guys! Hey little guys! Ooh, they look angry. They look so angry. Ah! We don't like monkeys, we're scared of them. They ripped up my bag when we were in Bali, so we keep our distance. I felt safer on the bike. <laughs> There's monkeys. This car has pulled over, like in a safari, and it started feeding the monkeys. I don't know if I want to get that close, there's a baby there. There's a couple up in the tree. They're all in the tree. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that one looked aggressive. He was about to eat us. Ah! Let's get out of here. So we have arrived at this destination and this is the Langkawi Sky Cable Car. And basically it is the steepest cable car in the entire world. So let's go see what this thing is all about. There's a lot of just like empty buildings here and everything's kind of boarded up and shut up. I don't really know why, but it's a bit weird. It does yeah. feel like a ghost town, doesn't it? A bit abandoned. So we booked online and Cluck, so we can skip the queue and basically go through without having to buy our tickets here. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to do the same. Honestly, it's actually crazy. There was not a queue. We paid extra for an express lane and right now you don't need to do that. 
Honestly, there was no queue whatsoever. I don't know why this island is just so abandoned. Wait, there's an ostrich down there. What? A mini horse ponies. So here we are, we are on the sky bridge and this is pretty cool. So this is 660 meters above sea level and we were literally just at sea level like, what was it? 10, 15 minutes ago? Do not feed the monkeys. I'm really hoping there's no monkeys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's made this way, but you can actually feel this whole bridge swaying in the wind. Like when someone walks along, you can feel it moving, which is probably the design so that the wit can withstand winds and stuff. It's a bit off putting, you're like, whoa. So this whole area is surprisingly not busy and it is the middle of the day. This is probably the busiest time of the day. And right now there is hardly any people. And because it's the end of Ramadan, it's actually like a busier time of the year. Like it's a, when a holiday for a lot of Malaysians. So this is so weird. Guys, I've just realized I don't have the key for the bike on me. I don't know where it is. I think I often leave it in the bike and I think it's in the bike, but that means we've got to go all the way back down to check. Hopefully it's not fallen down the gaps in the bridge as well, because Joel's shorts have these pockets that are a bit open. So. They're not very good. Oh, I'm stressing out. We need that key. Mm. It is so hot in here and I'm stressing out, but hopefully I'm trusting everyone that, you know, the bike is still there, no one's stolen it. Right, we're at the parking, hopefully it's going to be alright. Here we go. Where did we park? I can't even remember what our bike looks like. No. Is it here? Yeah, Which one? With the red helmet. Oh. This one. Oh yeah. Where's the key? Look at that, the key is just in the bike. But no one oh. stole it. <laughs> oh, you, you idiot. We can breathe. I'm such an idiot. So we just got back from the cable car and we honestly really enjoyed it. We're not usually a fan of really touristy things, but it was really cool experience and I definitely recommend it. That is the end of our time in Langkawi in Malaysia. But unfortunately, that is our end of our time in Malaysia as well. But don't worry, we are coming back to Malaysia later this year and we're going to be going to some incredible spots I'm not going to tell you yet, but just hit subscribe. Make sure you subscribe for more of these Malaysian videos later this year. You, you're going to want to see them. Thank you so much for watching this video. We will see you in the next one. See you then. Bye.